Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny. I'm from Jenny Card Designs. My YouTube channel contains content that is intended to share paper crafting tutorials and inspiration with all of you. I hope that you enjoy. Okay, we'll start off today's video with some stamp layering tips. Now this is great for when you want to mass produce cards. In this video, I'm only gonna make a couple, but this would be great if you want to make lots. So you can apply this to any of your stamp sets that you have dies that coordinate along with it. So what I've done is I've taped all of my dies up to a piece of dark cardstock and I've run that through my die cutting machine. And I also use the same die to cut out a bunch of white die cuts as well. So I'm going to grab some washi tape and just stick that in behind my die cut spaces. And then I'm going to remove a little bit of the stick off of that tape because I just want them to gently tack down. I don't want them to stay forever. So this is just gonna help keeping the little die cuts in place as we stamp to make sure they don't shift around. Okay, so I'm gonna take this piece and I'm going to put it inside of my Misty and I'm going to use some washi tape to tape it down, make sure it's nice and secure and doesn't shift. I'm going to start with taking the original pieces and putting them right back into their little spaces like a puzzle. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the stamps and I'm gonna line them up and test them out on the blue die cuts just to make sure that they're in the right position. Once I'm happy with the positioning, I will pop those blue die cuts out and put my white die cuts in its place. And I'll stamp my image, making sure you get a good transfer of ink and then I'll just continue popping out my die cuts and replace them with new white ones and then continue this until I have enough flowers and then I'm going to move on to the second layer. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm gonna bring those blue die cuts back in and I'll pop them into their little spots and I'll take the second layer of the stamp set and line it up and test it out. And once I'm happy with the positioning, we'll do the exact same thing, popping those white die cut pieces back into the little spots and stamping with the second layer. For this particular stamp set, this is where the flower really comes to life when you see that second layer on there. Okay, now we're going to stamp the greenery for this stamp set and one of the little daisies has a stem on it that makes it a three-step stamp and then the greenery just has one step so nothing too complicated here so we only have to stamp each of the greenery once so i'll get everything tested out once i'm happy with its positioning i'll ink those up and stamp and then go ahead and stamp as many leaves and daisy stems as i need and there's one more step for the daisies the large and the small daisy both have a little center, so I just stamped those very quickly. I didn't test out the layering. They're simple enough. There's nothing too complicated about that. And then all of my daisies and leaves are all stamped, and then you'll be able to keep this die cut template. You can just slip this little template in the back of your stamp packaging and keep them together so that you have them when you're ready to use them again. Okay, so let's make some cards with these die cuts. Starting with my Jenny Card Designs template reference book, inside of this book I've got a ton of different templates. Um, I'll link to a video that explains a little bit more about this. In here I've got a list of layers for some slimline cards. So for my project today, my slimline card base measures eight and three quarters by three and three quarters. And my first black layer is going to be eight and a quarter by three and a quarter and then my white stamping layer is going to be eight by three. So again, I'll just, I will link to the reference book just in case that you've never seen this before. And here are my slimline cards. I've got some card bases and some pretty coordinating envelopes already created. And I will also link to a video that shows you how to create those. I'm going to take the black cardstock and cut up a panel that measures eight and a quarter by three and a quarter and I need four of those. And I'm just checking to make sure that that fits. And then for the white panel, we're going to cut four pieces that measure eight by three. And then once everything is cut and I check that it, it lines up properly, sometimes I mess up on the math, but this seemed to work out okay. okay heading back over to the Misty, I grabbed the leaf cluster in that layered daisy stamp set. I stamped the image and then I shifted it and lowered it each time to create a stair step effect. And I stamped both of my panels the same way. 
and then I grabbed the Fancy Flourish out of that set and I stamped that with lovely lavender ink and then I cleaned the stamp and shifted it around and stamped it with Wild Lilac ink. These are the same two colors of purple that I used in my layered daisies. I grabbed a sentiment that says wishing you sunshine and love and I stamped that with Gina K Black Onyx ink and then I adhered this panel to my black layer and then I grabbed all of the flowers and I just tried to figure out the placement and I just used a combination of foam squares, glue dots and a little bit of wet glue and just kind of layered things up to get a nice pretty look and then we're going to go stamp the inside of this card I used the same flourish and stamped the same two colors of purple and a couple of those little green leaves to give us a nice elegant touch for the inside of this card. And then I adhered everything together and then that's going to be it for this card. I have already pre-made the coordinating envelopes that have some beautiful foil accents inside of them as envelope liners and I think that really is the icing on the cake for these cards. Here is a close-up look at the finished card projects. These are perfect for just a simple hello or a wedding gift or the perfect size to put some money inside of as well. And that's it for today's video. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and I brought you a little bit of inspiration for your Gina K Design stamps and dies and maybe some stamp layering tips. Coming up on screen are a few videos that I think you may enjoy. Have yourself a lovely day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!